wanting to experiment with painting outside I made this box um, I'd previously made a box to carry wet canvases well this box was to ca carry wet canvas boards which I um, managed to fit into the lid now here you can see the box when you open it up has got quite big containers uh, sections rather and um, these are mainly to carry oils and um, paints obviously and this larger end portion you can see there's a disposable easel in there and um, room for a paper roll and also room for uh, a bottle of water for the water soluble oil paints which I tend to use, the artisan oil paints and here is, are the sections for paints and things. Around the outside here you can see holes for holding paint brushes um, it's obviously too big but you, get, you, you know the idea and in the lid here have um, three grooves separated uh, obviously with gaps in the first groove we've got a couple of easel uh, of um, pallets to mix paint on just a piece of old boards which I'd varnished and uh, and then there's two more grooves for the large canvas boards so these are canvas backed boards um, hard boards so uh, I can paint these and then put them back into the lid in the wet condition and there's a gap between the canvases and so they don't touch each other I'll show you that in a sec and the two pallets can go back in and they can go in wet side facing the canvases the canvas boards I'll just a bit tricky getting this in but uh, I'm holding the camera in one hand and trying to do this with the other hand and once these are in I'll just show you the side view you can see that there are um, I'll just bring the camera around to this side oh and there's an overlap there to try and keep it relatively waterproof and that shuts like this and oh there's Georgie, hello Georgie, she's come to see what I'm doing Georgie is one of our sh French sheep, sheep dogs, Briards and here I am just fastening the lid with um, a couple of elastic bands check out John Geeky Art Blog for more tips and help.